Prince Rondo from the Ebor Art Studio. Stamps, roulettes uh, are a really great way to um, stay busy, keep your hands in clay. You can make these, let them dry out, just let them sit. We can bring them back to the studio and then fire them once we're back. And I also have some air dry clay that we can kind of mess around with too that I ordered before um, I got uh, started working out on my studio. But I figure for those of you that don't have a kiln or didn't grab clay before all of this happened and can't get a hold of clay, I was still able to order this off of Amazon. So let's start off by saying it's not, don't worry about drawing. It's really kind of, you get a little simple thing going. So, you know, where do you find inspiration? If you look at bullet journals, bullet journals have a lot of really simple line drawings going on. Uh, they have a lot of things like little borders that they do around the pages, which will actually look really, really great on a pot. Um, if you can kind of see what this pattern is, it literally was just me just doodling and just making like little, little squiggle lines. And that's all it was all the way around. And it really makes a really cool pattern. It's kind of subtle. But when I did it on a pot that had like all of it on it, it looked really cool. So don't stress about not being able to draw. You don't even have to draw. You can just do kind of random stuff. So you start with a little ball of clay. And I'm just going to round it out. <clears throat> kind of flatten it a little bit. We don't want to flatten it too much because we want that thickness. So I'm just going to start rolling it around with my fingers just to kind of even that around. And then start to roll it just to get a nice good smooth surface to start. And I'm going to put a little divot on either side so when it does dry I have a nice little place to kind of like let it roll. I made some that had really open spaces and I found it a little bit cumbersome but if you end up using like a dowel rod you can kind of put it in there and like use it like a little rolling pin. It's kind of fun. And then for the ones that are a little bit on the longer side that are more like rolling pins like these guys we're just going to roll out a little, a little snake. Remember to roll all the way through. If you just roll back and forth, you're going to end up with a little oval. So we're going to roll all the way through, kind of sliding back and forth. I'm just going to use my little, if you have a kitchen knife, a little butter knife, you can do this too. You don't have to have actual clay tools. As we all, as all of us potters know, we're pretty resourceful when it comes to tools. Toothpicks become scoring ribs and little combs, little cut up combs become scoring ribs for you to score. Just got to be a little bit resourceful. All right, so I have my two little things. If I roll them out right now and start carving in them, they're a little bit too squishy and too soft. So you want them to set up a little bit. So I have some that have kind of set up. I made my little rolling pin a little bit smaller on this one. And I did add a little edge so I could still kind of roll back and forth. Now thinking about these designs... I'm just going to take my needle tool and like if you don't have a needle tool at home use a toothpick a toothpick will be just fine I'm going to make that line down the center and notice how my needle tool is kind of like flat to it if I had my needle tool here and I had it up and down and I do this, it ends up being kind of like more like a plow. And you get little boogies at the end of your needle tool. And then this here is really kind of gnarly. But if you take your needle tool and then tip your needle tool towards you and then pull, 
you're going to get a nicer quality of a line. Even if I don't want to make it that deep, I can still do the same thing and have it smaller. So I've made my little, my little groove in the middle. And now I'm just going to take and kind of go every other, just like it is on here. Which I found this design on a bullet journal. I'm just going to go every other. Back and forth. And in fact, I might not even put the little, the little dots on. I kind of like how it looks like a leaf. Almost like has a vine-like pattern to it. So this one here has already started to dry out. And you can, what's kind of nice about it is you can test the clay. So we don't want to use these consistently uh, unfired. But you can definitely kind of get a little bit of an idea of what you got going on there. Kind of see that pattern. Or I'll smooth it out a little bit better. So that's a nice really leaf pattern. Almost looks like one giant leaf or you can kind of see it as a vine too. Either way. pretty cool all right so for this one we're just gonna block it off just make little little squares you want to try to get them an even number and if it doesn't it doesn't really matter I have some that don't match up right I think this one here when it came back around it didn't match up and once you do the pattern you don't even notice I'm okay with that. I'm not perfect. I don't expect my designs or my pots to be perfect. So you can see we have that going all the way around. See, even that's not even lined up. I don't mind. See, doesn't match up. That's okay. We can do the same kind of pattern here. And then just every other one, I'm just going in the opposite direction. kind of get lost in it. It's almost like a little bit of a meditation. You just kind of start drawing. I guess that's why they call them Zen Doodles, huh? Alright, so we can go around with that. So for this one here, I actually use something very, very fine. So I literally just started making really fine lines. And then, at a whim, I would just change my direction. Right. So you can kind of see how that kind of comes out. Kind of line up and make sense. I don't know if you can see it better up here. It's a learning curve trying to figure out how to video everything and make it look right. So as you guys are learning clay, I'm learning how to film clay. It's kind of a fun little journey. Things you never knew you'd be doing. All right. So here we go. We've got some air dry clay. Literally. I don't know if I have to do this, but you know, they always do it on TV, so I'm going to go for it. You know, it makes me feel like Martha Stewart. Um, but you can probably tell what it is. It's just air dry clay. And uh, it really feels like um, drywall compound. It's kind of funny. It, it's kind of gelatinous almost. But it's kind of fun. 
you know, I was able to actually get a roller wheel to work. So that's why I'm not too bad. So it actually, it actually does really nice detail. I just wouldn't soak these in water. I tried to wash it and I could tell some of it kind of came off with it. So I was very gentle with it. But like I said, in a pinch, you're sitting at home, you need something to feel like you're making some clay. You can do these guys. They do, they do take a long time to kind of dry. So I'm just going to make simple marks. Yep. So you can see how that'll go. Sky's the limit. You know, and everybody kind of, like I said, worries about drawing. This really isn't drawing. This is just making random marks. Look at your tires. Look at the bottom of your shoes. Um, just texture that you have in your house. Anything. Let's see. Do I have anything fun? I don't know. Here's like this thing that came with my uh, tripod. Just felt a... Uh, didn't really... There we go. That's a pretty cool little design. So just be creative. Like, walk around your house, walk around outside, look at rocks, look at patterns on, on the tree, anything. And uh, we'll, we'll put something together and we'll make, we'll make something cool then when we get back. You can also, there's a couple of artists out there, and I know Jen Allen does it, Sunshine Cobb does it. And, uh, they're, they're just killing it with the roulettes. Um, Sunshine Cobb has a video about them. She's great. She's got a great book too. Uh, so. So next week we'll take these roulettes and we will make a small soap dish or a small little dish, uh, that you can use. There are samples in the studio and I'll go ahead and attach a PDF on the how to make the little dish so you're prepared for next week um, and we might have some available in the studio for them to be printed out and handed out to you um, if not but you'll be able to definitely look at the PDF online so enjoy and we'll see you next week mm -hmm.